Hey guys, welcome to the second part of my video tutorial on how to create a map for Supreme Commander Forged Alliance with AI support. In this tutorial I want to show you how to add erosions to the height map using World Machine. So the first thing we want to do is to set up the world extensions and resolution in the project settings. Uh, we want a 1024 by 1024 plus one pixel since Supreme Commander Forged Alliance wants that. The next thing is we set up a terrain altitude scaling of 1000 meter. And in the water level settings we set 195 meter. And click on show. The next step is to import our previously generated height map with a file input node and since we also want to output a height map we need a height output node so we connect that together double click here and load our height map here we also have to set the altitude scaling to full range because when you look at this side it's, it looks a little bit flat if you choose natural. So we want the full range and say OK. Since we want to add erosion, uh, we go to the natural tab, then we choose erosion. And when you exactly hit this line here, then it's getting connected automatically. So in, we double click on the erosion settings and choose a relatively hard rock hardness, let's say 9.9. .9. Then we enable the geological time enhancement feature here and set that relatively high. Also we want a uh, channeled erosion, a lot of sediment carry amount and from the filter we choose inverse filter and here we can adjust the strength. Okay, so I want to look at the ramps here so that they don't disappear from all this erosion stuff. So, like this first ramp, here we can set the channel depth. It shouldn't be so deep, a little bit more rock hardness, and maybe not so much. So this bridge should be not underwater. Let's say OK and let's render a small preview. This yellow LED here indicates that it's not yet rendered. So if you click here, the whole chain gets rendered. If you click the yellow button only from left to right to the selection gets rendered. Let's do that. So now these two LEDs are green. And we can look in the 3D view. When we press the camera, we get the even better result. Okay, that's a little bit very channeled, so we have to reduce that a little bit. Re render. Yeah, that's better. And also I want to have a little beach erosion, so I go back to my notes and add here a coast erosion. Here we can set global water level since we set that up here. So the beach size you can see when you set that very high then even the mountains disappear. We make the beach size not so big, so the ramps stay intact. Underwater features can be smoothed out. Let's say OK. Render until here. Preview. So we got the little beach area here. That's nice.
what you can also do is you can connect a mask to this uh, violet input here and avoid that the erosion or coast erosion or whatever has impact on this region. You just go to generator, go to layout generator, then you drop that here, plug this here, and then you can set the view for example to here, lock preview on device. So when you work on this, this is still previewed, then you go inside here and then you draw the regions where the erosion should happen. So when I select this box, the fall off distance is 4 km, that's a little bit big. When I go down to zero, you can figure out already how, how it works. So in this area, the erosion happens and not in the other one. Or you can also make this bigger. Then it happens everywhere. Then you lock the shape. Then you add another box. For example, here I don't want to have so much erosion. So the box is green now. When I select this box and set it to negative, then it gets red. The distance, of course, is massive. So and when you look at that now, then we have still ramps without any erosion. I like that. Stretch, let's see. So it's not so brutal and we say we want to have this fall off curve. Ah, that's already good. And I just copy that over, control C, control V, put it here, here, so with shift you can select all of them. Control C and V. Copy them here. Okay, that's better. Good, then we render that again. Now we have the ramp still intact. Okay. Now we export that whole map. So we can load it in Supreme Commander in the map editor to fix uh, smaller issues and then we re-import it back and generate the maps for the texturing process. So here I set up the file format. We have to use RAW16. We call that height map. Set the path and press write output to disk. So he has to render this last node here since this is still yellow. I say yes and successfully written. Okay. Now, when I look here, uh, he writes the height map as an R16. Supreme Commander doesn't understand that, so you have to simply rename that to RAW. Yes. Okay, this was the second part. Uh, in the third part we will move on with fixing some issues and spikes and such stuff. Making the terrain a little bit more smooth, checking where the units can build and drive and after that we re-import the map into world machine and as I said creating the masks for the texturing process. 
so thanks for watching.